All right, guys, I had a rod end come back, uh, or a patrol arm, rather, that um, had a little bit of a noise associated with it. And sometimes these rod ends have a little bit of uh, low speed stiction due to the um, Teflon liner um, and how tight it is. So, and, and this goes for any time a rod end gets tight. Uh, typically what we want to do, and I'll, I'll show you the stiction first, real, real spotty when it moves, you can tell it takes a lot of force to overcome that initial friction. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to tip the rod end to expose that center of the ball right there, and then I'm going to use some of this liquid Teflon nonstick. Um, but I also usually suggest using the spray version of the dry lube. So uh, the dry, dry lube, so it's going to have some alcohol in it that's going to carry the Teflon into the, the interface. Um, and that's going to re-wet the liner that's a, a Teflon Kevlar matrix. So just put a little bit there. Um, you know, typically you would also get the other side. And we're just going to let that dry. We're going to rock to expose the other end. And you can actually just see that evaporate now. Um, that was a little bit of, of residue, but go ahead and hit that a little bit. And I'll rock this to the other side. Oh, a little bit, a little bit much on there, but this means it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. You blow it a little bit just to get that alcohol to evaporate out and you'll see that there's a, a kind of a cloudy film that's left behind. And that's just a fresh layer of Teflon. Um, it'll go, go back into the little cracks inside the liner. You can see I'm, I'm just kind of working it back in there. And now that that low uh, speed stiction is gone, and you know the rod end is going to move a lot more freely. So anytime any squeaks develop, it's not necessarily that the rod end is bad; it's that it it hasn't um, uh, hasn't had its liner, I guess, relubricated, and sometimes the Teflon material will will dry out just a little bit and so you just need to re-impregnate those little pores in the material. So anyway that's what I did today and just uh, showing you guys how to maintain your rod ends to get the most life out of them. <laughs>